Hi, welcome back to Engineering Made Easy. This is Lalit Vasist. In this lecture, I will explain you what are energy bands, their types, and how they are actually formed. So, let's start with a typical energy band diagram first. So, let me draw an energy band diagram. okay here this is called the conduction band conduction band here is the valence band and this portion is the forbidden band So these are the three bands here, valence band, conduction band and forbidden band. Okay. So actually uh, energy band is a concept to explain the energy levels of charge carriers. Okay. So these uh, uh, actually I have already explained uh, this in a separate uh, video lecture that uh, how these bands are formed but uh, here uh, I'm also revising it in short actually in crystals the individual atoms are so closely packed that uh, their resulting energy levels get modified this happens because uh, of the interaction between closely packed atoms because of these uh, interactive forces uh, in crystals even uh, the electrons in the same orbit of different atoms of the crystal have different energies okay let me write this point uh, again so that you can get this point Actually, uh, because of these interactive forces between the closely packed atoms, because of interactive forces between the closely packed atoms in the crystal even the electrons in the same orbits even the electrons in the same orbit of different atoms of different atoms of the crystal
have different energies. Have different energies. So, what does this mean actually? It means that uh, in uh, any crystal we have uh, a large number of uh, atoms. So, for let's suppose for any atom, uh, let's consider an orbit n equals to 3. Okay? So, for different atoms, uh, these all atoms have uh, almost same energy since uh, there are a large number of uh, atoms uh, in that uh, crystal so if we consider all those atoms all the atoms uh, uh, sorry all the electrons that are present in uh, n equals to 3 then these all uh, electrons of n equals to 3 orbits of uh, various uh, atoms will have almost equal energy not exactly same because of that interactive uh, interatomic forces uh, between these atoms so they will actually these uh, will form uh, energy levels uh, will spread up and will create energy bands so because of this uh, energy levels spread energy bands will be formed so, because of the energy levels spread up, okay, energy bands are formed okay so these uh, all uh, the energy levels uh, present in this band will have uh, closely placed uh, close energies energy levels okay so the electrons present uh, in the outermost orbit are called as uh, valence electrons we know this fact very well what are the valence electrons like uh, other orbit electrons the valence band electrons too contain closely spaced energies uh, okay and hence uh, form a band of energy this band is called as valence band so valence band uh, contains large number of uh, electrons so these all the electrons present in valence band uh, sorry in valence uh, uh, valence orbit will form valence band the electrons in the valence band are not free to move as they are tied to the atom so these electrons do not uh, participate in the conduction process so enough amount of uh, energy is required by the electrons in the valence band to break the bonding with the atom so let me explain this point again with the help of this uh, energy band diagram so what happens here actually here we have uh, in this uh, valence band let's suppose this is the this is one of uh, the atom any atom I'm here drawing any two atoms these are two atoms having let's suppose uh, four electrons each one so this uh, is the these are two atoms and uh, the last orbit the outermost orbit which is called the valence uh, orbit so these are the valence electrons present in this outermost orbit so as you can see here these uh, electrons are tied to this uh, atom they are not uh, free to move but so these are uh, since these are in uh, valency uh, valence orbit so this band 
is called the valence band but if we could give them enough energy to break these uh, electrons from the valence band from the valency orbit then it will become free so after getting free uh, let's suppose this electron gets uh, enough energy externally we impart this energy to this electron externally so this electron will gain energy and will be released from this atom so the, here it has uh, by the uh, band theory we can easily say that now this electron has moved to the conduction band so if the electron is tied to the uh, atom then it is in the valence band but after giving this enough energy that enough energy required to break that bond from the atom of the electron is called as the forbidden energy okay <coughs> so this is the energy gap let's write it here this eg i'm representing this as eg this is the energy gap between the conduction band and the valence band so if i give it the energy equal to this uh, forbidden energy uh, gap then it will be released and it will reach into the conduction band from valence band okay so i think it's uh, clear so if enough amount of energy is required by uh, so enough amount of energy is required by the electrons in the valence band to break the bonding with the atom after getting that required amount of uh, external energy it can be released from the attraction of the atom and becomes free electron as per the band theory we say that uh, when the electrons in the valence orbit was tied to the atom then it was in the valence band and when it becomes free then it moves to the conduction band okay so uh, here the amount of energy you have seen is the forbidden energy so this band is the forbidden energy band here this band is called as the forbidden energy band but why it is called forbidden energy band because since there is no electron in this state it means no electron can occupy the state in this gap electron either will be in valence band or in the conduction band but this is the forbidden band okay i think it's uh, clear to you how the in this uh, was it clear so this was all about the formation of uh, conduction band, valence band and the forbidden energy bands. So we will discuss this topic of uh, energy bands to explain what happens uh, in metals, uh, semiconductors and uh, insulators in more detail uh, in the upcoming lectures to get this uh, notification as soon as they are uploaded please subscribe my channel engineering made easy thank you for watching bye bye